I've watched a number of videos here on YouTube about balancing a telescope on an equatorial mount. Most of these tutorials don't go further than to simply assume balance is achieved when the telescope stays at rest in a horizontal position. Job done. But I've found that the center of gravity of my telescope and mount is offset to the port side. No amount of fore and aft telescope weight adjustment will achieve balance in other than the horizontal position. My scope continually tries to remain horizontal. This is not balanced. My solution is an outrigger counterweight for each of the RA and declination axes. The counterweight is provided by a bunch of fender washers on a threaded rod. Each washer weighs a little less than half an ounce, but they are available in packages of 15. To attach to the declination axis, I fashioned a clamp by bending a hook into each of, the, of two fender washers. The rod here is about 12 inches long. The washers are held at one end and at the other end the clamping washers. A slice is taken from the washers in order to clear the telescope tube. Two hex nuts provide the width adjustment. The rod is positioned in line with, but at roughly 90 degrees, to both the declination axis and the telescope axis. This shows why a slice is removed from each clamp washer. The threaded rod also clears the scope by a sufficient margin. And here's the outrigger counterweight in position on the starboard side of the scope. I use a C-clamp to attach the RA off-axis counterweight. The threaded rod is again about 12 inches and this one carries just over a pound of fender washers. The best place to mount the counterweight is right over the RA axis, and the only feasible way to attach it is with the C-clamp. There's a small rubber pad to help the clamp get grip without marring the mount. I can loosen the clamp and pivot it off to the side to clear the view for polar alignment. Contrary to some tutorials, I balance declination first. Every bit of weight added, removed, or shifted for declination balance affects RA balance, but not the reverse, so I hold off RA balance until I have a good declination balance. almost perfect. I typically won't chase down perfect balance because I'll add a little bias weight to the camera and also unbalance the main RA counterweight to make the mount east heavy. All this fussing. I will be balancing the scope again because I left the lens caps on and not all the camera wires are connected. This run through was on behalf of the video.
And to everyone who replied to my question on cloudy nights, thank you. Your answers led me to find this solution. Thanks for watching.